In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a new property to the website. So the first thing we want to do is go to the backend administration into the article manager and select vacation rentals and you can see the list of all your properties. I'm going to select by check check in the checkbox uh, the first one, Majestic View, and I'm going to copy it by clicking on copy. And it's asking me where to copy it, and I want to copy it into property. And I'm clicking on save. And now I can see I have two Majestic View, the original one and the copy we just did. So I'm going to open the copy we just made, Majestic View, and I'm going to convert it into the new property we want to add. So I'm going to call it new property. And I'm just going to copy this into the alias field. And now I can start editing my property. So the text you see here is basically the teaser text of your property. That's the text you can see in the listing, uh, the first text you can read next to the picture. Or if you feature your property, that's the text you can see, uh, let me show here on the blue uh, area. So this text needs to be in one paragraph only. This is very important so do not uh, jump uh, any line like this. I'm just going to undo this. And um, and um, it's it has to be more or less this size. So you can have a few more words, a few less words, but I would recommend you to have exactly this kind of, of size. So I'm just going to copy and paste the text I have here is about this size and um, now if I go further down I can see that I have tables and I can change my tables by changing what is inside I just click on the corresponding uh, cell I want to edit and if, let's say it's not a villa it's an apartment and let's say I want to add another feature which is not here yet so I click on the last row and I'm going to just add a row by clicking on this button here, insert row after. If you leave your mouse long enough on these buttons here, it's going to tell you in plain English what this button does. So insert row after, and it's just going to insert a row after, and I can have my other feature here, and some text here. Let me select this other feature and make it bold so it looks like the other one here. So that's pretty much the same thing for any table here. And uh, the weekly rate, let's say we need a six bedroom option. So we need to add this time a column and not a row. So I'm just clicking on the last column and I'm just going to use this insert column after. And now I have my six, my sixth bedroom column. So I'll just type in six bed room. That's it and I can fill that with my prices. Let's say I want to remove uh, the three bedroom option. I just click on the red button here which says remove column. First I put my cursor where I want to remove and then I remove it. Same thing for a row. Let's say there's no pool. I put my cursor in any cell in, this, in the row of this um, this this pool option and I just click on delete row like this and it's gonna adapt the size depending on what I uh, I have written here in the text so let me go back I just press the um, undo button and you can do pretty much the same thing on every table and um, if you need more text if you have uh, uh, not enough space here to put your text um, you can add always as many texts as you want at the very bottom. Uh, a new text like this. And uh, that's it for now. I would like to see what uh, if the changes if the change these changes worked on my website. So I'm just going to save. And now I can see I already have my new property into my my property list. And if I go on my website and I click on all properties, I should see my new property here. So now let's update the images on this uh, new property. In your article manager, you just need to reopen your new property. 
and when you see an image you click on it and you click on this insert edit image tool it's going to open another window and in this new window you click on properties so here you can see that all the images are sorted out by property and we're going to keep this system so you're not getting mixed up with all the images so I'm just going to click on new folder by on this button here and I'm going to create a new folder for the property I'm creating now so uh, I'm going to call it new pro Per T. Do not use any space, replace them with a dash, it's much better. And do not insert any special character in these titles here. No accent, uh, nothing like this. So I'm just clicking on OK. And now I have my new property folder. I just click on this folder now, and I'm inside the folder. I can start uploading images. So I suppose you already did the tutorial about uh, how to prepare your images for the web and your images should be ready on your desktop. Um, I'm going to add a new image and uh, I'm going to select this one and upload it. Now it's uploaded, it's green here so I can cancel this window and I'm clicking on it on the title here and I can see um, preview here and I just need to update the image. So now I have already my new image, uh, my new teaser image. And if I go down I have these two images uh, that I want to uh, uh, update as well. So I'm just going to click on the first one and same thing. Um, here I click on properties and because I already created my new property folder I just click on that there again and I should be able to upload another image. Let me add this one. So if you have more than one image to upload, the best is to add several at once, like this. And another one, and just click upload and you will see that your images will all upload at once. And now they are still uploading. And once the three are once all the, um, the circles here are green, it means that it's uploaded. You can just cancel this window. And you can have a preview here of what, ima what image is what. And I'm going to put this one here. So I'm just going to update. Uh, don't forget, I already I clicked on images. So I'm, I'm just updating images at this point. And uh, let's say I want to remove this image here. I just select it like I did now. You see, should see this white uh, a square around the image and you press the delete button and the image is gone. So now if I want to add a new image I make sure my cursor is at the right spot here next to this first image or at least under photos and I'm going to click on this insert edit image again and here I can choose making sure that I'm still in the right folder click on properties and new properties I can click and see the images which are available for this property so I'm going to insert the map so I click on this one and I'm just clicking on insert and let's say I want to add another one so I'm just clicking again on the picture and I'm just going to select this one like this let's say you want to add a, again another one Let's click again on this tool. And uh, I'm going to put the one we have already as a teaser again, insert like this. So that's it. So that's how I updated the images on my uh, property. So I just need to save and check the results on your property page. So that's my new image here, and these are all the images I uploaded.